season, I go through my closet and dresser to get rid of and reorganize what I want for each season. I am not 100% sure, maybe being a thrifter, maybe just wanting to always be paring down, but I'm gonna go through my closet, my shared closet with my husband and my baby and our dresser to see what I wanna keep for the fall season as well as what I'm gonna be getting rid of. So let's get started today and we'll see how far we make it and then we'll work on this over the next few days. So I'm hoping to just pare it down be content with what I have and be comfortable in the clothes that I am wearing because postpartum body after five months is a little different than it was pre-baby. So let's get purging and decluttering and reorganizing of my closet. First, let me turn the light on here. This is as real as it gets. I did not go and rearrange anything for you guys. I even have like some wallpaper on the back there testing it to see how what I think about it. It's from our built-ins and it just shows up purple all the time. Anyways, nothing's been organized clean. Those are my husband's pants. <laughs> I'm just going to leave those there. Um, piles of stuff back here. Some of that is my husband's stuff, but it's time to do a little bit of decluttering, going through what doesn't fit, maybe what needs to be moved out for spring, summer season and just make this a place that I enjoy looking at and picking out my clothes from. First things first, I'm going to take out my little bins and go through those to see what I wanna keep and what needs to be put away for different seasons and maybe try a few things on. Okay, my bins are down. I couldn't get that big one out from the corner, but I got all my sweaters out from there. Yes, little guys hanging out on the bed right now. So I'm gonna go through this and just see what else I need to tuck away or get rid of. I did do a little bit of a swap already of my summer to fall, but I think I need to do it again. And I'm gonna be pretty hard on myself. Okay, so here's the issue I'm running into. I really like all my sweaters and more casual long sleeves. So I don't know, I'm struggling to pare it down this season for some reason. Um, I found some cute things out thrifting, so they weren't expensive, they fit pretty well. Um, but I should just pare it down because I have one cardigan here and this one was, I wore it like for maternity, but it looks, it's so cozy though, so ah, I'm really struggling to figure it out if I really need it. This one's nice because it has pockets and it's a little bit lighter, but you know what? It is bigger, so I might tuck it away in my maternity clothes um, because that would be fine if we have another one. Uh, this one goes well with lots of things because it's lightweight. So okay, maybe I pared that down already just by talking it through with you. And then, I don't know, I'm just struggling. Like, this sweater is super adorable. It's very warm though, um, and it makes me sweat quite a bit, but I really like it. So maybe I'll put it in my maybe pile, wear it for a little bit here and see what I think in this season, um, and go from there and see how I feel after like one or two wears of that. And then these sweatshirt type pieces. Uh, it's not a lot, I know I don't have a whole lot, but I still have more than I really want. So I'll put some things in the maybe pile. That's just the hard thing about clothes 
in some seasons for me is because they're different especially now because like it's gonna be 30 degrees for the next five days but today it's 60 so it's really hard to gauge how much of everything I need but I know in the winter months I really like being cozy so I'm just gonna keep working on some things here time to conquer my hanging clothes I'll keep that keep that this would be fine with the sweater so I'll keep that this is very summery so I'm gonna tuck that away perfect for nursing but very summery this one is lovely with leggings for fall winter this one's good too and this one i'll tuck away for spring i have not worn this one yet i shared it in um of one of my other closet like summer closet videos and it just it's very sheer see-through so I'm not sure I'm gonna keep it okay then my pants situation I have an issue with pants right now too so I've got one two three four five six and I'm wearing seven on right now one pair doesn't fit one of my favorites that I've had for so long so I think I'm gonna just get rid of it because what's the use of keeping it in my closet if it doesn't fit right okay that's a little bit better because I do wear jeans quite a bit so I like a black pair, a green cropped pair, um, this flare pair I usually just wear for church, and then a couple of mom jeans. And then this is a paint flannel, so that's staying there. This would be really cute for a wedding or something of that nature, and it's also very v-neck. Okay. I talked myself out of keeping it. All right, on to my hanging shirts. Um, I decided to keep a few tank tops here to put under cardigans, but I think I'm going to remove some of them. So, um, yeah, this is some of my husband's stuff here. Baby stuff on the floor. It's, <laughs> my whole closet just needs kind of a makeover, but I'm doing clothes right now. That's what I'm working on. I think the great thing about taking things out of a closet and reorganizing and decluttering is you get to reassess all your pieces of clothing. It just helps with the purging and with looking at things and seeing them with fresh eyes. And as you put things back, realizing I don't need this or I don't really love this, um, I can give it to someone else who will actually wear this. So it's a new day and I was able to go through my tank tops and tuck stuff under my bed in the tote that I have for spring summer clothes. Um, let me show you how I organize my sweaters that I have because it just makes it so convenient to look at. And then I'm going to go through my t-shirt dresser drawer here. So I just accordion style um, compartmentalize them in here. So I have like my more casual shirts and then a little bit dressier sweaters and then my one gray um like turtleneck mock turtleneck it's not a big up high tight turtleneck so um i still feel like i have too many i don't like this being full so that might be something i continually uh, 
work on decluttering as the season goes. So I just put all my leggings in here like for under jeans or under dresses and then like one pair of sweatpants. And so this is nice to look at because it's not completely full. So I have those where I can reach them up here pretty well accessibly. So I'm gonna go through my t-shirt drawer now. Okay, so this is my t-shirt drawer and some of my more winter pajamas. I really don't have a lot of t-shirts and then I share part of the drawer with my little boy. So it's very tight. Um, there's some things I know of his I can move out because it's not hot out anymore. So I'll get rid of those um, t-shirt short sleeve type things. But for mine, oh, here's another short sleeve. For my stuff here, I have like this workout tank top. I might tuck that in my summer clothes. Um, this America shirt is a little bit tight, so I might gift that. And then some of these, like I wear um, tucked in with some jeans. They work nicely. And this one, I'll move over here. Just kind of rearranging. This is one nursing tank top. And then you know what I'm just gonna keep that one and probably donate this one so that just really alleviated nope oh, little baby bib some space there and then some of my like pajamas like I said are I moved them over here I used to have them in my closet so we'll just leave them there I pulled out some of my more wintry flannel pajama bottoms too there all right, so, so far here is my donation bin slash um, gift to other people bin. Well, and put a few things downstairs as well. Like, um, I do have one like this I was going to put in for maternity. So that is like a full laundry basket of some clothes to gift or donate or like two or three items to put in a maternity bin. Now I'm going to share back here how I have this bin organized. I couldn't get it out because it's too tight right there. But I just have some of my more winter sweaters. So a couple of these gray ones and like these two cardigans, these gray cardigans here. Um, random folder right there. And then this robe my husband gave me. But I, I don't know. I've wanted to be a robe person, but I'm really not. So I actually am decluttering one robe that I had and then keeping that one for future use for now. So I was re-looking through my hanging clothes and I'm gonna move all my empty hangers just to a place where I don't see them. Probably like up in the back here. And then let me show you. It's just so nice to be able to look at all of this and see what I have. Um, I just hung two of my nicer t-shirts like I shared from my drawers. I do have some plain t-shirt type shirts that I wear with cardigans. Um, so I'm just keeping a couple here. And then just a few of my dresses, a couple of my skirts and then my jeans are up here. So I just love how easy I can see everything and how accessible that is. And then I moved everything from down here that's up there and into the drawer. So I have no hanging clothes down here except my husband's stuff, which is really nice and accessible because it's all up here then for me. And then my sweaters slash crew necks and other long sleeves are right here. And my leggings and um, one pair of workout pants or lounge pants are up here. And then over in that bin over there are my cardigans and winter sweaters. And then in my drawer, I have my t-shirts and one nursing tank in my shared drawer. And I didn't share with you my undergarment drawer, but I do share that drawer with my husband as well. So that I keep pretty minimal because it's shared again. So really this space is, it's so functional if you keep it pretty minimal. And like I said, I feel like I still have a lot of long sleeves and sweaters. So I will be wearing them here in the next few weeks as it's cooler and seeing which ones I tend to gravitate towards and which ones I wanna just not wear. And then I'll declutter as 
the months go on because right now it is the end of October when I'm filming this and so we'll see by like December what I do and maybe I'll give you an update on my closet declutter and organization for the fall and winter season. So, okay friends, that is it for you. I'm getting rid of a whole basket full of stuff, which is wonderful to bless other people with and to um, donate or give to family. So I hope this just encourages you to declutter and organize the space you have. I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in my next video.